Today we're going to take a look at both ShareWell and ServiceNow. Uh, and what we're going to take a look at is how to get around uh, things like SSL. So there might be a time where you need to log in using a uh, local user account that's either in ShareWell or in ServiceNow, uh, and you just uh, need to get around the SSL maybe because it's just going to automatically log in anyway. So to do that, uh, I won't have much to show in this, but I will share what you need to do. So to do that, go to your, uh, in this case, we're using the portal page for ShareWell. And then what you're gonna, all you're gonna need to do is add ShareWell login at the end of that. Uh, make sure the C and the L are capitalized. There's no spaces, no underscores, just slash ShareWell login after your ShareWell portal uh, or after your portal name if you choose. Uh, I've only got one portal uh, on my demo database, so that's why it doesn't really matter. Uh, what this will do is it'll then give you a local login. Uh, it's extremely helpful if you're working with clients or you just need to get in the back door of your system. <clears throat> now, to do the same thing in ServiceNow, um, and this has helped me a ton. If, once again, if you're trying to get in the side or back door uh, and like SSO is messed up, which can happen, um, then this is how you would do it. Uh, so for ServiceNow, you would take your regular URL, your domain at .service-now.com, uh, or might be ServiceNow services if you're federated, um, and then slash side door dot do, side underscore door dot do. Uh, this will bring you to this login page that you see right here. I don't currently have SSO set up on either one. That's why I said we're not going to really see a lot, but I did want to share how to get here because I think it's really important. Uh, I have had problems with ServiceNow. Uh, it does have some out-of-the-box uh, SSO configurations that I've accidentally gotten turned on. Um, so if this doesn't work, if you contact, uh, on the ServiceNow side at least, if you contact the high support, uh, they can actually get into the back end of the code and get into it and turn things off, uh, turn your SSO off uh, so that you can actually get into your system again. So like I said, I have had a problem in the past uh, with ServiceNow and out of the box SSO that wasn't we felt it wasn't turned on, but somehow it got turned on uh, and it basically locked us out of our system. So this was super helpful to do, uh, both using the side door and then knowing you can always contact support if you're still unable to get in. That's all I've got for today. Thanks and have a great day.